Finished training today, Robin? With combat practice, yes. But I thought I might review a few battle histories. You should relax a bit. Put your feet up. Experienced soldiers rest when they can. On a campaign like this, you never know when the next battle might break out. <sighs> so I've noticed. With all that's happened recently, we've barely had time to even eat. It's been a tough road, to be sure. And it's only going to get harder. I do try and rest when I can, though. A lady needs her beauty sleep, after all. Er. What? Did I say something? Er, no. No, it's nothing. It's just that... Well, I just didn't consider you the type to care about beauty and such. I suppose I've never really thought of you as a lady. Excuse me? No, I mean... I didn't mean... Not like that. That is to say, a lady, per se. Er... You know, how you fight and strategize and... Not to say a lady can't fight, but... God, this is coming out all wrong. My goodness, Krom. You're the scion of a noble family, aren't you? Didn't they teach you manners at your fancy schools growing up? Oh, gods, yes. Of course they did. We spent a whole term on etiquette. Perhaps you could use another term. This time, on how to talk with a lady. It's just my image of a lady as someone so prim and proper. Perfumed and pretty. Nothing like you at all. When I look at you, I just don't see a lady. Does that... Er, Robin? What... What are you doing with that rock? I'm thinking a sharp blow to the head might help fix your eyesight. N no wWait! It was just a joke! Ha <laughs> Huh? Gotta go. I don't believe it! The little craven actually ran away! What kind of manners? Sheesh! Oh well, perhaps it's only fair. It's not like I think of him as a gentleman, let alone some fancy noble. Hey, Robin. Robin, are you in here? Robin, hello. I have a question about our next move. Krom? I is that you? Uh, if you could just wait outside, uh, I'll be just a moment. What? Come in? Gods, why is it so steamy in here? Did someone leave? Yeah! Ah, there you are. I can hardly see a thing through all this blasted steam. Anyway, I wanted to consult with you on tomorrow's march. You see... <laughs> er... Is there any special reason you aren't wearing any clothing? Crom? Rather than stand there like a slack-jawed village idiot, perhaps you could wait outside like I asked? But I... you... Oh, gods. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to... That is to say... Out! R right Absolutely. Straight away. All, er... Wait outside the tent. Alright, you. What sort of idiot blunders straight into the woman's bathing tent? I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. I misheard you. I swear it. I had no intention of peeping. <sighs> Just... Fine. Apology accepted. Now, what was so damned important? Oh, er... I was hoping you could offer some advice on tomorrow's route. Fine. What are the options? Well, according to this map, one route is the steep trail through the hills. Or we could circle the hills and follow the main road across the plain. I imagine either would work, but I wanted to see your preference. Hmm... I'd say the path through the hills. The main road would be easier, but we'd be more exposed if we encountered foes. Right. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for the advice. And, er... Yes. Well, that's it, I guess. So... Yes. Bye. Goodbye. And Robin, I'm really sorry about the bath thing. I honestly didn't mean to catch you like that. It's fine. Water under the bridge. Let's forget about it and move on. 
Er, right. Yes. Good idea. So I'll catch you later? Ah! No! I mean, I'll see you later. Ah! No! I mean, goodbye! I feel so awkward around Robin, ever since that bathing tent run-in. <sighs> Whenever I end up alone with her, I'm just frozen in embarrassment. Ah, what should I do? I've never had this problem before. Ah, I know, a bath. Yes, perhaps a nice hot bath is just the thing for my nerves. I'll have a soak and then find Robin for a relaxed conversation, like always. Let's see... The lances and axes are kept around here somewhere. I'll take a quick inventory and see if any needs repairs or replacing. Somewhere... Around here... Uh, here! The arm storage tent, I presume? Alright then, I'll just head in and... <laughs> Robin? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Blazes, what are you screaming for? If anyone should be screaming, it's me, isn't it? You aren't suppo- Ouch! Ow! Stop it! Stop throwing things! Hey, that's sharp! Don't- Ouch! Uh, have you no shame? Noble or not, you should at least wear a towel when you address a lady! But, but, you- Ow! You were the one who walked in on me. I- I'm sorry, Krom. Are we done throwing things? I think... I don't know what happened, something just snapped and... Well, no harm done. The gods justice, perhaps, for my earlier blunder. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for being so good-natured about it all. I feel terrible about that soap dish. How's your ear doing? Better. It still stings a little, but better. In any case, look on the bright side. We've both seen each other naked now, right? So I guess we've got nothing left to hide. In a way, we're closer than ever. Not the most appropriate way for a man and a woman to get to know each other. But, I suppose, as long as nobody else knows... Ha <laughs> ha! It's like we're partners in crime sharing an unsavory past. Anything that brings us closer will make us stronger on the battlefield. Just you wait. Partners in crime. <laughs> I like the thought of that. Well, partner, your secret's safe with me. Krom! Just the man I wanted to see. We need to talk. <clears throat> Robin? It's about the route you drew for tomorrow's march. I was looking at the map and I noticed... Krom? Are you listening to me? Er, oh, of course. Actually, no. I kind of had something to... do. Krom, you're acting very strange. Are you hiding something from me? H hide You mean, hide, hide? Oh, gosh, no. N nothing at all. Nope. Then, why are you fidgeting like you've got a squirrel in your pantaloons? I'm not fidgeting. I'm perfectly relaxed. And, er, uh, normal. And refusing to meet my eye? Listen, Krom, didn't you say that we're close friends with no secrets between us? Didn't you mean that? N no I mean, yes. I mean, I swear it's not like that. <sighs> I know you've been avoiding me recently. And I'd like to know why, Krom. I think I deserve an explanation. Please, I can't go on pretending there's nothing wrong. Do you dislike my company now? D dislike you? Egads, Robin, of course I don't dislike you. Nothing could be further from the truth. Then why are you avoiding me? Er. Krom? D don't look at me like that. It's just that we've been fighting a lot together. We're always side by side. At first, I thought of you as an ally, then a comrade, and finally a friend. 
I felt the bonds of trust grow between us, stronger and stronger. And then I realized, you were more than just a friend. What do you mean? I mean I care about you, Robin, as a man, and you as a woman. Crom, we can't possibly... Wait, please. You've made me come this far, and now I'm going to say my piece. But when you're worked up like this, you might say something you regret. I don't care. I've tried to keep this bottled up, and I can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you how I feel, even if your head explodes in embarrassment. Okay. All right. Deep breath. <gasps> Hold and out. <sighs> Once more. <gasps> Holding. Holding. And out. <sighs> right. I'm set now. Here goes. Prepare yourself. Because I'm going to say it. Then say it already! Robin. I'm in love with you. Oh. I have been from the very first moment I laid eyes on you. I just didn't realize it until the last little while. <sighs> Look, I know this is sudden, and I'm coming on like a wyvern in heat. But I'm not trying to force you into a decision, believe me. Whatever your answer, I shall abide by it, no matter how painful. And come what may, we'll always be friends. That I promise. This is... I'm sorry, Krom, but this is impossible. The General and his Chief Tactician? It just... it wouldn't be right. Our first responsibility must be to the soldiers we lead, not to each other. You understand that, don't you? Yes, I do. But someday, this war will end. We'll emerge victorious and bring peace back to the world. And when that happens, we'll be free to follow our hearts. Our hearts? Yes, because I love you as well. You do? But that's... But that's... Wonderful! Ah ha ha ha! This is the best day of my life! Robin, listen to me. You are the wind at my back and the sword at my side. Together, my love, we shall build a peaceful world. Just you and me.